let us derive a very important formula from the chapter straight lines now let us consider a point p with coordinates x1 y1 and there is a straight line l ax plus by plus c now how do we find the distance of the point p from the given line so to find the distance of point p from the given line l consider the perpendicular so if i consider a perpendicular drawn from point p to the line l let this point be m so this is the line which is perpendicular so pm is perpendicular to the line l join pr and pq so now we have a triangle pqr so what is the first step draw a line pm which is perpendicular to the line rq so therefore you get the point m now we need to find the perpendicular distance so the distance of the point p from the line is nothing but the perpendicular distance pm so we have to find what is pm now consider the triangle pqr we know that the area of the triangle pqr is nothing but half into the base rq into the perpendicular distance pm so we need to find pm so what is pm pm is nothing but so area of triangle pqr so divided by rq into 2 so let's try to find the area of the triangle pqr now what are the coordinates of q and r now q is a point on the x-axis so the line is ax plus by plus c a point on the x-axis will have the y value 0 so the y coordinate is 0 so therefore you have ax plus c equals 0 so the x value is minus c by a so this point q is nothing but minus c by a comma 0 now similarly what is point r any point on the y axis will have the x value 0 here so if you put x 0 here in this equation you get by plus c equal to 0 so y equals minus c by b so this point is going to be 0 comma minus c by b so i have the coordinates of p which is x1 y1 you have the coordinates q which is minus c by a comma 0 and then you also have the coordinates of r which is 0 comma minus c by b so now let's find the area we know that the area of a triangle we know that the area of triangle is given by the formula half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 Right? So you have x1, y1, let this be x2, y2, and let this be x3, y3. Right? So this is the area here, I have to substitute the area. So let's find the area of PQR. So area of PQR, triangle PQR is nothing but half into x1 into y2 is 0 minus of minus y3 which is plus c by b plus x2 x2 is minus c by a into y3 is minus c by b minus y1 plus we have x3 x3 is 0 so the whole term becomes equal to 0 here so you have half into x1 into c by b and here you have minus into minus is plus so it is plus c square by a b plus c by a into y1 so from this entire expression let me take c common there is c common and let me also take a b common here so when i do that i have x1 now here since i have taken a b common i need to multiply this by a so it's going to be a into x1 plus now this expression C, is, C has been taken common outside and only A is there but I have also taken B so therefore I have to multiply this term by B so B Y1 plus here from this term C by AB has been taken common so what is left out is C so area of triangle PQR 
is nothing but half c by a b into a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c. So let me call this as equation. So if I call this as equation 1, let this be equation 2. So to find p m, we have already found the area. Now we need to find r q. So what is r q? r q is nothing but the distance between these two points. So you use the distance formula root of x2 minus x1. So that is minus c by a minus 0 the whole square plus y2 minus y1. So it is 0 plus c by b the whole square. So we get c by a the whole square plus c by b the whole square the whole root. So now if I take the LCM here you get c square by a square plus c square by b square the whole root. So I'm doing one more step. I take the LCM a square b square. So multiply c square with b square. So it's c square b square plus multiply this by a square. So it is c square a square the whole root. So now I have c square common a square plus b square divided by a square b square the whole root. Now here we can take c square outside the root and a square b square outside the root. So we get c by a b root of a square plus b square. So we'll call this as 3. So we have our q. We also have found the area. And now we can substitute 2 and 3 in equation 1 to get pm. So observe pm is nothing but area. What is area? Area is given by 2 which is half c by a b into a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c into 2 divided by r q. What is r q? Given by this term which is c by a b root of a square plus b square. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled, c by a, b and c by a, b gets cancelled. So we have p, m. So what is the value of p, m? p, m happens to be the distance of the point p from the given line l. So the distance of a point from the line l is given by the expression a x1 plus b y1 plus c magnitude divided by root of a square plus b square. So this is a very important formula which you need to remember. So distance of the point P with coordinates x1, y1 from the given line ax plus by plus c is given by this expression, by this formula, magnitude of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. So let's take an example. Say we need to find the distance of the point 3 comma minus 5 from the line 3x plus 4y minus 26 equal to 0. Now observe what is x1, x1 is 3, y1 equals minus 5 and here you have a which is 3, b equal to 4 and c equal to minus 26. So use the formula. So the distance so instead of pm, it happens to be the distance d is nothing but ax1, 3 into 3, which is 9, by1, 4 into minus 5, that is minus 20, plus c, which is minus 26, divided by root of a square, which is 3 square, plus b square is 4 square. So what do you get? This is 9 minus 46 divided by root 25. So this is 9 plus 16 which is 25. So we get the value as minus, so 9 minus 46. So you get minus 37 by 5. So I need to take the magnitude here. So it's going to be 37 by 5 units. So this is the distance of the point, the distance of the point 3 comma minus 5 from the line 3x plus 4y minus 26 is nothing but equal to 37 by 5 units. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.